This day is all about putting on show the creativity in schools across the country that sprung out of devices like the Raspberry Pi. Competition is growing year on year. Um, this year we had about 150 entries. The theme is sports and leisure. It's an exercise game. When Scratch puts a colour on, you have to tap the colour. We wanted something that could get you off yourself sofa and exercise you. We're just very happy to be here. We've created a five-minute workout which displays images on an 8x8 LED matrix but it also monitors your heart rate. It puts it into a CSV file so you can use it in Excel and create graphs with it. This is our drum machine. When you hit the symbol pad on it, it takes a selfie of you. Like if we win, then I'd be super happy. I actually entered this competition three years ago. I feel that even if I'd built exactly the same project without having entered the um, PA Raspberry Pi competition, I wouldn't have got nearly as far as I did. We need more entrepreneurs and innovators, and this is our way of trying to reach out to that next generation and help them understand what they can do with the skills that they have. These, to me, strike me as tomorrow's innovators. Boxing game helps you increase your agility and your like speed. You need to punch in the arms and it picks up the reading on the screen. An example of a flex sensor is when you turn on a garden hose and it's straight, more water flows out. But when you, but when bend, you bend it, it less water comes, comes out. out. When it's spent, it will give up less of the reading, which also tells our game to do this. Our device is called PyTime. It's an automated timing device to create a photo finish for athletics and general speed training. It operates with uh, an infrared sensor and uh, the Pi camera module and it sends an email to the email address of the person in charge of the results. We started the day, no one knew about JavaScript. By the end of it, you know, they could answer different questions, different quizzes, so some of them will probably be doing amazing things in the future. And the passion comes across all the time. They're using technology in a way that someone seeking a multi-billion dollar valuation simply isn't. To see people enthusing about coding and, and, and telling me how easy it is to do, this is where the world is. Here we have sport tracks and it will connect to up to 48 satellites simultaneously and we can then use a library called GPS Prune to plot the data on an interactive map that the user can then use while on the move. Our idea is to have a robot drive onto a rugby field just before there's a conversion and it will live stream through the internet so you can view it on your phone. We wrote all our programming in Python. You can click a button and it will take the Python code and make the robot move. The levels of creativity keep on going up. They're coming up with more and more brilliant ideas. It's your job to go out there and inspire other young people to discover for themselves how much fun creating with technology really can be. And the winner is Egglescliff Digital Leaders. Amazing, really good. Quite proud. So the winner is Hungerbot. We've been working on this for six months, so it's definitely such a good reward just to be here, but to win it as well, it's absolutely amazing. It was a, a real world solution, and my time is the winner. It's given me lots of experience with talking to people that are in the business. It was a good experience, yeah. it came out with a good result as well.